I get to Berlin and it's an amazing city and there's a lot going on but I guess I realised that I didn't really know what I was doing with myself. I didn't really speak much of the language, I didn't really have people to play with so much aside from the occasional jam session and I needed somewhere to put my creative energies. So I started working on making beats and composing and just stuff where you can make music by yourself. And Aside from the music part, just exploring the city and just getting an idea of the vibe of the place. The whole thing of travelling is an eye-opening and mind-opening experience and so me being in that process of my own self-development, I think a lot of that energy of mind-openingness and growth was kind of getting channeled back into the music at the same time while I was writing it. And there's no doubt about it that the city of Berlin was pivotal in the writing and the vibe of the music that has since become the album one. My father was one of the first people to popularise African music in New Zealand and I guess being around that growing up it was an amazing and very influential thing to have in my life which I'm still discovering to this day. Just things like having that basic foundation of African rhythm has enabled me to apply myself to a whole bunch of different genres of music. I guess a lot of the album One has a very strong jazz influence, even if it's not really a jazz album. There are elements of composition that I um, learnt from my time in jazz school, which has definitely applied itself to the writing of the album. And also just the whole art of improvising and being able to create in the moment and find one minute's music in one minute's time and just putting yourself, I guess the whole thing of self-expression being able to just play in the moment and be free to create on the spot and adjust as you go and that sort of thing. It's a very big part of who I am as a musician.